Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live, not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right above me, this is, uh, if we go live and you happen to miss it, this is where you can catch any of the highlights and things of that nature. Don't forget, we do got the Patreon. I think this is an updated list of everything that's on there. Uh, yeah, I just updated this today. I think this is everything. Um, don't forget, we do got the merch. And we got the Discord as well, man. Discord plays a big part now that we've moved from Kick to Twitch. Because uh, you can't leave links in the description anymore. So, boom, you got to do them through there. Uh, this is Liverpool Debt Collector Sean Smith's story. This is part two. Told you we came back same day, same day. Just needed to break it up real quick because I had toothpaste on my face and I don't have it on my face anymore. So, What's the worst thing about being in prison, Sean? Well, man, obviously not seeing your loved ones, you don't take yourself. Not seeing your loved one, but just watching your business go, mate. The police, two licensing officers. And I'd love to fucking name them, mate, but I won't. Uh, I've gone to jail. They went round to every door I had and went, available security still on here. We're in three or four weeks. We'll shut you down. We'll revoke your license. The director's just been done for guns and all that. So I put everything in the man's name, dab it down exactly. Took everything off him, mate. So I'm going from here and five or six grand a week. My business return over 1.2 and a quarter million. And we're in Bankrupt for three or four months. I'm lucky if I'm doing eight grand on tours, mate. Took everything. Took everything. Please. And the reason why the police done it, I kept about three good doors. I had a door in Liverpool called Flanagan's, like famous Flanagan's, an Irish bar. Flanagan's heavy in Florida. There's a lot of Flanagan's. I'm sure it's not the same, but a lot. And a man that kept that. And he had a place called Royal Birkdale. Golf in South Pole. I had that for time, about seven years. I had the Flanagan's for 11 years, maybe 12. So we had Dorman on Flanagan's, couple of bars out to city centre. And it was the open, it was the first year he was having the open in uh, Royal Birkdale. And they needed like 80 guards. So I'm in jail, I said, man, speak to him. The lads will sort that. Mm -hmm. Alex will sort that over here. Alex work. Walsh, he'll help me with that. It's a couple of good lads around us. Get on that and sort it. The dirty bastards, these people I was close to, have rang Royal Birkdale, sent a picture of me in jail. Um, villain, all gang, all that shit. Uh, jails, this is the company you've got. But the half fella that run it, I think his name was Tom, like an army general. And he rings a man up, man that goes and has a meeting with him. He said, look, I'm getting all this about Sean. Like, well, we, we've had this for seven years. But because of his big money coming in, and these used to have a little security firm, this, these people I was really close to. And it was just all fucking jealousy, mate. Jealousy. I was going... That's your competition. They wanted that. They wanted that. They was like, bro's in jail. It's not a bad name on his, on the company. Let's send them some pics. That's just competition. Well, yeah, big money said, man, that'll do. That'll, that'll just, I don't know if money keeps going anyway. There's an extra bit of money. Keep that, put it to one side. Put it in the in the, in the, the guard company, not the, the door company. They took a man to court. Uh, and he was going to do, she was going to do them for slander. He went, look, we can't have you here. So the main guy in Royal Birkdale went, I haven't got a problem with Abel Scorsi. I've had them seven years. We need 80, was it 84, 89 staff to provide all the staff, to all SIA regulators. We've gone through all the structures and everything we're doing. And I'm happy. Police, if you have anything to do with Abel, we'll shut it down. It's the first open over here in this country. I had to shut it down. 2001 or something like that, or 2000. They had to get rid of you. He went, yeah. So this busy's rang Amanda. She put a big complaint in over the, the police officers. And he's rang Amanda. 
and she went, listen, she went, you know I'm running that, and yet it is yours, and I'm running it with his dad and all good lads and all, SIA up. She went, I'll tell you what I'll do with you. When Sean gets out, don't forget I'm in jail at the time, and everything's just going, mate, and I'm on, I'm on the phone, and I've got bits of beef in jail, and out of all my dorm and that, yeah, they all just fucked off. A few of them stayed behind. They were just there for the wage. Just there for the wage, mate. If I'm going to fight someone, they're all standing behind each other. Yeah! And they won't fucking get in the fight. I've gone to jail. I've gone. They just want to stay on the lip top. No, no, I'll stay here. I'll get your wages. I really find you find out who tr true mates are when you go to fucking jail, mate. And me mate, me mate told me that, my good mate Paul Arden, who's done a lot of fucking jail, mate. He's done a podcast a few months ago. Staunch fucking top, top guy. And he went, you'll find out to your mate when you get coached. I was like, nah, he went, I'm telling can I just go and visit him in jail? And you know what's crazy? You also find out who your friends are when you move away as well. Like jail is a little extreme, but move from where you are to a different state or a different area. That's how you find out who your friends are without going through that extreme. He went, you know, when you go to jail, mate, people just forget about it. You have jail mates. And when you come out, go, oh, how are you? He said, they won't send you no money in. They won't send you a pair of fucking trainers and all the t-shirts. But they won't come and visit you. And anyway, this man has put the complaint in about these two license officers that are bent as fuck. And man, yeah, Amanda went, I have proof that you've took back Anders. Never mind, off Sean. I've seen these two police officers. I've had fucking love. I think one's retired now, one might be might still be there. Um, I've given them envelopes. I'm one of the biggest clubs when they put in for a late license before a late license has come out. Here's our application, Sean. Will you pass that to them? Well, I've just seen a brown folder. Yeah. Can I every month them pair the country again? And they're ringing all the licensees up to fuck me off at the doors. I'm doing a proper job. Could have gone to jail. Still the same lads on the door. No problems on the door. But like the boss has gone to jail. So the company looked bad. But let us change the name. And let us run the fucking doors. But they're taking a fucking grand a month. A grand a fucking month to run it. That was only off one big club I was on. What else was he take? And I'm the criminal. Nah. And I just lost faith with everyone, mate. I don't like the police. The I police go. have lost control of the city. They haven't got a clue. Extortion, back doors. You was just you was just an honest man, good heart, getting stepped on because he was too nice. He was too oblivious to what was going on. You go around Liverpool in your car, you don't see fucking police. You don't see them. City centre you will. Come out of the city centre, you won't see no police. What do you think of the state of Liverpool the now? Do you think it's a good place or a bad place? No, I think Liverpool is booming, booming. Uh, the singing competition they've just fucking had. What's it called? Eurovision. Eurovision and me. Look, I love Liverpool. Same. I, like I still experiences. go to Liverpool. Yeah. Amazing city. But people don't know what goes on there. You get the odd ones, someone being hit and put on a co in a coma. But what about the other <laughs> ones that have been just slashed or knocked out and the ambulance have been out? You're not reporting all that shit, are you? You're not reporting that. Liverpool isn't as safe as what people think it is. Rate of a day, come 12, 1 in the morning, different place, mate. Different fucking place. Most of us think you've seen in prison, Sean. That's what any big cities, any big cities where it got like, any big city that really got clout, I don't think people like, a lot of people don't know, man. Liverpool clouded up. They got clout in Liverpool, man. Like in the streets, Liverpool got clout. <laughs> in the streets, even like, 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 um, even like in the sports world, Liverpool got clout. As much as people love to hate it, you still they still in your mouth. That's clout. <laughs> Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Liverpool got that. Liverpool is like that, in my opinion. I rock with the pool pool Um I've seen quite a few things in prison later. I seen a kid get swilled up with a load of sugar. He was a nonce. Deserved it. <laughs> that was fucking horrific because you allow kettles now. My bad. Years ago, I don't know if you know the jails up here. You went outside on a wall 
and the water was just hot enough for a cup of tea. Now you've got kettles in your room. So I've been moved off G Wing and of the puppy with the lifers and I knew a few of them. And they had this this fella around. Yeah, give him giving Kit Kats to the screws. Yeah, I'll go out and do that. And wanting a job. And always round, I'm always standing by the office. He was a fucking wrong man. And one of these kids, there was two lifers there, they'd only come down for the visits. And they got like 24s, 21, which is big then, than when I was in. Still big. And he went, he's a fucking nonsense. I said, mate, look, do your own way first. Everyone calls everyone a nonce. <laughs> well, you know when you say, he looked like a nonce, he fucking, he looked like Jimmy Sullivan Jimmy without Sullivan, the hair, yeah. but without That's a real thing. People can actually look like what he just said. Like, I, I pro have that radar on and, and, and tuned very finely if you got kids, man. Be on the lookout, man. That's a real yeah. thing. Or roll Fallis without a beard. The only percent. And he went, he's getting swilled in. I said, well, he went, when's the lad to go and clean the safe? He's getting swilled. So, because I knew a couple of screws and you're on a life for you, it, leave your door open. If you don't go to work in jail, you get locked up. But because I knew some of the screws, and on the landing, we had uh, a rower, a bike, and a, and a stepper. So to leave me out all day, I'd just have a go on that, chill, have a go on that. So I can see them, and they've got a, a, two jars of coffee, coffee jars, with a load of sugar in it, and boiled two of, them, two of the lads, the lads done it. He had the two of them, and put the two of them straight in his kite, mate. He was standing there, and he's leaning away, you go on the stairs, yeah, boss, no boss, bit of like, you know, one of them. And the kids, the kid got nicked for the way and asked, you know, the kid's doing 24 years, he's only in two and a half years into his sentence. And he, he ain't really care. And he come back to Liverpool for his visits. And he thrown the fucking two of them on him, James. I've never heard screams like it in my fucking life, mate. Where can you run? Every, all the pads are shut. There's only cleaners out. There's no water on the landing. They're putting the towel on, putting the cloth on and that's sticking. They're pulling it off, it's been, it's bad, mate, bad. Seeing that, I've seen the lad have a fucking, well, a finger up his ass first, and then a knife, because he, he dropped someone's- The Glasgow Sindor? Yeah. And I goes in the pad to see this kid over a, a, a bit of trouble he had with someone on a different wing on the visiting list. And he went, you want to just, just give us a minute, give us a minute. He went, just watch that door there. And this kid was a punter. He was a punter anyway. So there's two gearheads. This other kid being on a visit said he hasn't got the drugs. And they're going, you fucking have you little cunt. No, no, she couldn't pass me, she couldn't pass me. So the kid's hit them, but they're not, they're, look, they're just little victims. They're hitting this kid and they're not knocking him out. He's like, no, no, no. So I would just fucking choke him out with you. I would just choke him. I mean, it might be he was once hit, but choked him. I went, just choke him. So he got him this way, choking him. And as he, as he is, he's on the bed choking him, so pity it, he's over the bed. The other lad's pulled his pants out of you, spitting on his ass, I thought. He's like, you wanna fucking fuck me or something? And he goes, with his finger like that, <laughs> up his ass. And y'all told me that don't go on in UK prisons. When, I, when we was listening to Fleece Johnson, and here, what was this all about? This was unnecessary. It's there. I can't get it. So I was started. Oh, I'm, he was trying to get it out, but like you was in there. Started by the door going, what the, what the fuck are you doing? Fuck him, let's wait till he, have, he won't have a shit. The kid's asleep. So you get, you only get the plastic spoons, but the, the knives are a bit thicker. They've got the plastic knife handle up his ass. I'll be all right, fuck this off. <laughs> but I won't get the gun in. Wait, so you watched this? You watched him go finger hunting first. Then you watched bro find the knife, unravel it, and then put it... Oh, my God. Got it, mate. She got it and smoked the brains out. That's I see crazy. him in the morning. I see him, not the morning, the day after. Man. I was going, he went, Sam, fucking Sam. He said, good gear. He went, right from the checks. I asked my lovely cat. All right, no more gatekeeping. Let me show you the best infused. 
That's crazy. That this is an ad on white when he talking about this. Peace on all the people's answers, mate. How many dates do you, How many debts do you think you collected all in, Sean? Mate, de debts of. I'm glad you brought that up. Debts I've collected in, oh, mate, hundreds. And there's a few I haven't got. And you know what it is? Um, and I'm not making myself. I wear my heart and sleeve. I won't take debts unless there's a cause or the or the legit and there's an invoice, a paper trail. Uh, and I've had grown people older than me, my age, crying in the office to be ripped off by builders or, you know, investments. Investments is hard to do. Uh, yeah, so everyone called debt collectors, bullies, this, that. Mate, I've never bullied no one in my life that didn't need fucking bullying. Um, and it's like now, so I've got a big job now, right? This is now, this is live now. Matt Legg brought something the other week. A girl gets raped. Fella gets eight years, not just for rape, for aggravated rape. Majority of 12 found you're guilty unanimously. So we got eight years and the judge said to aggravate rape, which is 10 times worse. She got in the house and he's raped her. She's one of the first women, and you can Google this, to sue a rapist because she lost her job. So we got eight years in 2016, he's still on license till 2024. She sued him in 2019, she won the court case, it was on the national papers. I ain't never heard papers. of this. Cheshire. Uh, and she won the court case for 89 grand. And her head's fucked, mate. She's gone. She could come to the office, met me, and I was like, whoa, girl, calm the fuck down. No, I'm sure. I'm, I'm a, you know, medication, I'm on diazzy, I'm gonna take one now. She took one, I said, look, take one of them. Calm down. She went, there's the story, I'm reading the story, break his chest, yeah, blah, 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 I'm looking at it. She said, I've got a court order here for 89 grand. And I said to her, cheekily, I went, fucking hell, girl, don't buy 89 grand, you need 89 pence for the fucking bar of soap, you need a fucking good watch, what's happened here? Dang, she, did, like, she, went, she like fell off the bit, like wagon at the, which is a, understandable, she went through a traumatic experience. I don't wear makeup or nice clothes on. So why is went, in case people are attracted to me. PTSD. Oh, how fucking sad is that, mate? That's sad, bro. There's a beard that doesn't want to really look after herself with makeup and clothes because she's scared in case people attack her. Because this fucking rapist raped her. Well, I've got the court order and I'm coming for him. He's changed his name. I only got the job assigned to me. Where are we now? June. May, mid May, so I've had the job about three or four weeks and I'm looking, I'll find the cunt and I will knock on the door. So, what I'm going <coughs> to the point is, Excuse me. is anyone going to call me a bully then? They're not early. No, you've been respected. Because he's a rapist. Yeah. Yeah. So, why are you calling me bully when I go and click your mum and dad's debts and they have a court order? I don't come and take your fucking car or your furniture outside your house. I'm helping genuine people. So how does it work then, the debt collecting? What's the deal? Do you take a 50% a fuck? No, no. How so, does it <coughs> so if you have a court order, right? Mm. So if somebody owes me 100 bags. Yeah, package. someone owes you 100 grand. You, yeah. you have a judgment. Mm -hmm. That judgment lasts forever, mate. Is that illegal, legal? How yes. So I have a solicitor that works in the office. So you're, you're owed the money, right? James English is owed 100 grand. You tried to collect it, you can't get it. So listen, you say to them, I call Sheriff Sabine, you can't find them. You come to me. You assign the debt to my company. Yeah. I don't buy it. You don't buy debts. That's all bullshit. You yes, assign sir. the debt for Sean Smith Enterprises to collect your debt. I, Sean Smith. I charge you a percentage of what I collect for you. So I'll say. That's the same as how it works now. You don't really, I, I, I believe so. I was reading up on something that somebody puts your stuff in debt co in collections in America. They don't buy the debt. They just get assigned to them and they take a percentage of it. You know, me five grand of front expenses for me, the lads, the office to do the work, find out where he is. We'll go and travel down, see how he's doing, see what he's up to. Video, I'll send you footage. Here he is. Here he's going to work. There's his bear going with the kids to school. He's got this business, that business. I send you all that fair, so I go, look, that five grand you give me for expenses, I've spent fucking, say I've popped it a grand, 
I spend for them, paying the lads, come sit in the house. I'll get them video and watching them. I'll get all camera stuff. I go, look, I've got them now. So today, I'm going to land on them and I'm going to approach him for your money because I know he's got that other business. Because what a lot of people do. So say your company's called Ruth and North, Ruth and North, SW Ruth and Northwest. You can go bankrupt, change it, open another company you might stay and call SW. That's exactly how business North. owners do it. Leave the West out. Say fucking up. You've gone from unit B to unit fucking F. It's your business. How money are you driving home? Well, you're not your cunt. You're in the fucking office every day. You go in there with your rags on. You're sitting in the back office getting all the work. I do all that. Everything's signed over, everything's legit. But when they've done the, the, the YouTube device and the Netflix, and they called it, UK scariest debt collector, which it's fucking embarrassing. It's still course. a good name to get people watching. Yeah. Man, listen, clickbait it. It's clickbaity. Rather it was what it was or it is what it wasn't. It was clickbait. You hate it, but it got you a lot of attention. It is. <laughs> How does yeah. that then affect your life? Does because then people know who you are. That's watched worldwide. So does that enhance it with a positivity or does it bring a lot of people try to test you then? <laughs> Both since that's been out, and you can you can ask Amanda if it's coming back. I get challenged. It may look even now. I think it's seven years old. I think it's seven, something like that. And you get people going there. Oh, my God, you that fellow who slept that land, you that tech collector. And I go, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I enjoyed that. I go, oh, thanks, mate. You know, just oh, thanks, glad you enjoyed it. But oh, you do still doing the same shit. And then you get people going, you guys did get that really. Knock on my door, lad, I'll leg you. And I, go, <laughs> <laughs> I was just going, hey, I go, mate, listen. That's when 95% of the comments was when I did the video. Yeah, right, you could never do that. I'm like, ah. Back when he was in his day, he probably could. <laughs> listen, listen. I ain't no gangster. I ain't no hard case. I just stand up for what I believe in. I won't back down from any man. I'm 57 years of age. I train like fuck. I spar every week. I'm not a fucking idiot. Don't see me like one, mate. I know UK scares. I go, look. And I get, I go, it shouldn't have been the UK scares that collector. It should have been the UK's, UK's mediator. But TV people being TV people sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah. And they've done it. And it's it done worldwide. That's W advice, man. Were you in this internet gang? You can more, you can be morally sound and put what it really is, but that don't sell. You gotta cap a little bit. You gotta cap a little bit. <laughs> On Vice and Netflix, hundred and two million views. Yeah, and I think it's thirty two million on YouTube. Well, when I last look, I've I've never watched it. I've never I won't watch this. I've never watched the Vice or the YouTube. See the Vice one when you were slapping the two kids? Yeah. Bodybuilders, like that went, I, I still get sent. Yeah, that. it's still, it's, I still yeah, get sent. Yeah, no yeah, joke, yeah. I still yeah. get sent. But listen to this. This is legendary. You slapped the fire out there. <laughs> hey, the nostalgic feeling that I get when I hear that. How was that? Who was the kids and how was all, all that come up? I'm telling y'all, I got 600,000 views from reacting to that. So I know. Legend. Was that was that totally hundred percent legit? Was that? Oh yeah, in, yeah. Listen, it? listen. So I've got two guys filling me in the gym, and Tony. Everyone knows who he is. Um. Oh, the kid who was slapped. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got them filling me in the gym, and it's a bit of a sad story. So the one with the tattoo, and it was a young lad, stocky lad Dave. He died. Him. Oh. It hey. was fucking dead sad, mate. R.I.P. Uh, so anyway. Uh, they're in the gym, and I don't have steroids sold in the gym. Simple as that. I'm not, as you said. Um, Natty. I have, it was full of weights. I have 12 bags now, there's two rings, and it's all fitness and cardio. So look, if someone wants to take juice, go and take it in your fucking house, mate. I'm like, that's what you want to do. Go and do it. I'm not asked. Don't fucking sell in the gym. Right. Simple. So, uh, Simple. I've said to this kid, this... The one with the tattoo. I didn't really know he was going to be coming in the gym a month or two. But Dave, the little bodybuilder, he was on juice. He told me he was on juice. Uh, I said, Sam, he's going in for shows. We went to Southport and watched him do a show. And this little fucking idiot he was with. I'm glad you brought him up. Uh, 
because that slap took his life the way the cut the tattoos gone. He's got a normal job now, so I believe. Um, and I said to the film crew, I got told he was selling gear in the gym. I thought, you fucking cheeky cunt. Now look, I'm not going to be like, oh, I, I'm not out. I went, he's selling juice in the gym and he's not giving me fuck up. Not only is he taking the piss selling it, he's not even offered me a fucking thing out of it. So I'm fuming. So I've said to the camera. In my gym, you using my gym as a catalyst. Yeah, I'm on your ASS at this point. I ain't getting no cut or nothing. Crew. Look, just just wait by the desk. So when you come into my gym, there's a desk. And my office used to be in the gym. There's a desk. So what's what's that? I just need to bother this kid. Just and I'm like that with that mic thing you heard of it. And then he's coming in and went, look, just... So I said to the man, tell him, I'm, tell him I want to see him in the office. Guy goes down the office. Bumph. Here's fucking Vice, or whoever used to film me, behind me desk like that. All right, I went... I said, look, forget... You see me saying, look, forget about this. Because I'm near, I can't say, hang on, you just want to go. I'll start again. I'm... I'm I've got a, a bit of a... I had a bit of a temper on and I can control my temper. I'm really good, I'm really good. But I thought, you fucking cheeky bastards. Send them fucking gear in the gym. One, you know I don't have it. If you want to take it, take it. You want to take it in your house and you can't do it. Don't fucking sell it, yeah? <laughs> so anyway, he went... And you see me say, look, fucking forget about them. You sell gear in the gym. So I slapped him and said, like, you owe me a grand and you owe me a grand. Sell them fucking gear in my gym. And then the other Muppet that was with me, he tried to give me a few digs. And if you watch it, he's hit them. But no, I did generally slap him. I, I did. Um, yeah, 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 I remember it. And you told dude to stop. Because that's not what he did. Because you didn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? It was more like a, I don't know how to put this. This was like a father figure disciplining his kids. You know, we don't want to cause harm to you, but we want to get the point across. And then when they've gone, I'll give them a proper dick then. Because I generally didn't know they was there. I generally, hand on ass, and that's on me now, it's fucking cursed. I didn't know he was there. Anyway, he's fucked off. I said, you owe me again. So Dave, who worked in his gym, I said, I'm shocked at you. I said, you're a fucking boss kid, you. I never took nothing off him. I made the other kid pay the grand. And then Dave, uh, young stocky lad, he's out at a, a concert and he's had a bit to drink and he's arguing with his beard. And you know when you have that little rain stop over your door? Mm -hmm. you no. Know, he's climbed on that. To oh, an awning. An awning? She's opened the window and he's let me know you're not getting in. I've been back to you, the ticket. The fucking poor kids fell. Only, only like 11 foot. Bangs head dead. Dead mates, and you know he was dead. Eleven feet don't matter, man. Eleven feet is you're standing up eleven feet and you fall on your head. That's like sixteen feet if he's six feet. So bastards putting things on the side. Sean killed them. Sean sent them out the window. Come on, mate. Oh, that's Foxy. bogus. It was fucking sad, mate. It was yeah, fucking nice, horrific. Sad. It was God rest his soul. Um, Jocks, Scotland. <clears throat> The first, I knew a couple of jocks, but never really sat down and met them. And I get a phone call one day, yeah, must be probably two years now, off this guy. He said, hello, hello, my, uh, my name's, I can't do a fucking jock accent. <laughs> uh, my name's Jay, uh, Jay Paul. I went, yeah, anyway. Look, uh, I've had a bit of drug issues and drinking, and uh, I wondered if you, if you could help me. I went, what way, mate? I said, don't sell. He went, no, no. I went, I don't sell gear. I'm not getting gear up to Scotland. I thought it was a joke, you know. He said, no, mate, I'd love to come down and see you. And uh, I believe you're out for a few people out. And uh, mate, I'd come and work in your gym and stay in your gym. And any chance to get me on the state and narrow? I went, um, I said, look, mate, bring me back. So I put the phone down. Like a rehabilitation yeah, type situation? Him put him off again. And he'd have me back the next day. He said, no, I'm being genuine. I went, well, I'll tell you what, mate. Are you genuine? You want to come down? Yeah, I went, all right, I'll give you the chance. Have you fought before? No, I went, have you trained? Yeah, I've always trained. I went, don't be coming here to fight. If you want to come in and sort your head out, I've got a room and all I want off you 
Look after me, Jim. That's it. All right. Uh, week after, mate, this fucking Jay Paul turns up. Scott says, Dundee, that far from here? About an hour. An hour. <clears throat> Pulls up a little bag. Hiya, mate, I'm, I'm Jay. What can I? Oh, yeah. Mate, that kid stayed with me when he first come for probably two months, maybe three months, probably two months. He just changed like that, mate. Training every day, waking up through the night training, and showing I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Then he fell off the wagon a bit, he had problems with his kid. Uh, and then he went back home, then he come back, he fought for me. He had a fight for me, bare knuckle. Which was his hard fight for his first fight. His face was ripped to fuck. Never give him, mate. Fucking heart of a lion. I don't know whether you jocks have got it or this kid has got it, believe me. And then he fought again, his lip got split, his eye got split. And we're like, probably two and a half years down the line now. And I get a big grill on my face because he's doing well. He's got a good job. He speaks to me all the time. I give him my dog. That's he's good. Got my dog. I was up here a few weeks ago in Dundee. Yeah, and a great lad, mate. A great lad. And then from him, I met another big lad. Uh, <laughs> big John Ramsey, big heavyweight. He's four for us. He's, he knows you from up here. Because uh, I told him I was coming here today. Oh, well, can we come down and get on the pug? I went, no, I'm just sitting with James. And I went, but we'll go out. I went, well, he's all fighting for fucking three weeks. <laughs> so Jay isn't, but Big John is. He's big John, are we talking about Big John, the traveler? Big, big John that be fighting bare knuckle? That one? Oh, John. Uh, but talking about fighters, I asked a fighter because I asked a fighter because I mentioned this because it was, it, it was a bit I felt for me. Um, So one of my fighters who I'm really close to, everyone will know who it is, uh, because Big Johnny looks after him up here a few weeks ago. So I've got this fight. I, he said I, I could say his name, but I don't want to say his name. He's one of the best in the country. So he's he's two-time British champion. He's got a European belt as well. Uh, and he's been around me for the balls. Fucking hell. To, over 10 years. And he's had problems, drugs, Diazis, uppers, downers, pre uh, anything, anything. And he's always been bad. And he's just, you know, I'm in Wales once and he, he lived in York, so everyone will know who he is. And he said I could say it. <clears throat> and I fucking really hate me this. This only happened a, a few, maybe three months ago. I had to cancel the show because of this, this guy. So we have another guy living in the gym, another jock. I'm getting all your fucking, <laughs> all your people coming down to me, mate. So after this, I'll probably get more. <laughs> but Dave, well, as I'm getting on to this guy, Dave lives up here in Scotland. And he was an alcoholic, his wife died. Dead sad story, mate, Dead fucking sad. He's been coming to me show for years, alcoholics, been in rehab twice, near died twice. I said, look, you last chance. My man Amanda's friend who comes to all the show, stays over now, man. Your last chance. He's been with me since this February, but now in June. I have not took one drop of ale. Saying Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday morning with me in the gym. We do that job together. Great months. guy. So well done, Dave. Great fella. I like what you're doing for the community, man. You're cleaning it up. Even though it's like, you know what I'm saying? They're coming from afar, but, you know, helping people get clean. It's a tough job. It takes patience. And it shows that you have a, like you've been saying this entire, you've got a big heart. So, he's in the gym. Me best mate, one of me top fighters, if not the top fighter. He's on one and he's, he's taking drugs and he's this. I'm like, oh, fucking hell, I can't believe it. He's on it again, blah, blah, blah. He's fighting in five weeks. That's why I cancel the show. So his bearding goes, look, he's, he's not him. Um, can't breathe. He's breathing funny. I said, what do you mean? So man, he goes, get an ambulance, because the man I don't live in the house. I don't live in the house. I live 
like next to the house. Um, so, hey, stop using these for. So he still got the same gym that 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 was the gym and Vice. Is that the same gym he talking about? And uh, that brings me. Over. I like to live in the garage, which is like separated from the house. I've got to have my own room and everything. I live in the garage. This is how fuck my head is. I live in my garage because my garage is facing me out, so I can watch anyone if they go to my house. And I've got no troubles now, James. But yet, I'm P just stuck in that way. PTSD. Oh, carpets. Protection, fire extinguishers, putting things around the house, old pipes, having me dog, having. My fucking gum shield, my, my shorts that he's throw on. It'll take me four seconds to get out and get over the wall. And oh, it's, it's fucking stupid, mate. My head's been fucked up for years. I'm all right now. <laughs> 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 but look, listen. The way to a successful marriage, guys, is separate bedrooms, believe me. A bed is for sleeping. Like an ass is made for exit, not empty. A bed's for sleeping. I can't have sex with my girls. I like sleeping. I can't sleep. Bed for sleeping. I can't have sex with my girls. I like sleeping. I can't sleep. It's not fair, no man. There. I have four hours tops. So I've got to get up and about. And anyway, let me get back to this guy. I was getting a bit thinking. I'm what I can speak now. So he's obviously had his beard doing his beard, and uh, I've seen a bit of shit. And I've seen someone die in front of me, mate. I've seen someone killed in front of me. And I've seen a fucking dead person. I used to help a friend out in the morgue. I've seen dead people. Bodies don't bother me. But to see someone actually get killed in front of you and hear that last breath get drawn and see their eyes go, it, it's not fucking nice, mate. And I've seen someone who's just been killed. But they, I can't talk. Anyway, she rings me beard. Me beard rings me. And I go, Pop your laptop in there. So I'm going, what is it? She said, he's fucked. He's off his head again. Uh, so it's about 10 past 7 in the morning. And his girlfriend has got to go to work. And he's been best mate. I look up to this guy. He's one of the toughest fellas I've ever known. He can fight like, like fuck. He looks amazing. And oh. he's had shit like I've had shit. And I should have let him go away. But I can't. I love him. You know, you have that man love. I just love the kid. He's a fucking boss lad. Anyway, I, she went, I ring the police, went, don't fucking ring the police. Boy, we got a bit of beacon them all, a couple of tablets or loads of diazis or uh, don't fucking ring the police. So it goes and gets Dave from the gym. And uh, there's a funny part of this. I went, he's off his head again. Come with me now. So I picked him up, goes to flat, goes in, James. And he's lying there. So I went, I'll fucking wait to come to him. So I've took a, a vitamin B12 jab. You get vitamin B12 jab? Yeah, it's energy. I've stopped at the allergy, which is by his. Big, big, a big pure orange, vitamin B12 jab. I went, I'll crush his balls. I'll wait to come to him. I said, don't, don't get the police. So it goes on the seas and I went, fuck. Come on. Let, 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 let's call him Billy. Billy. He cuts his ball and I went, I went, nah, I can't. Can't stick my fingers up me, mate. That's fun. <laughs> you, <laughs> wait, wait. I went, let's call him Billy. Billy. He cuts his ball and I went. Did he say I cuffed his balls? Billy. He cuts his ball and I went. He was going to treat that man like a pit bull to wake him up. You know how you, when dogs grab on and they bite you to get them off you, you put their finger up, you put a thumb up their butt? Okay. I can't. Yeah, can't I'm glad you didn't do that, brody. That's fucked that off. <laughs> I can't fucking. And Dave was going, no, I went, fuck it. Nah, I can't. He, I can't. So I racked his balls. I'm picking them up off the bed. Come on, wait. You said I racked his balls? So anyway, I said, you better ring an ambulance. So I've rang the ambulance. I said, look, he could, it was like, and then shaking. So I said, what's he had? He doesn't have no drugs, as in, you know, coke and all that. 
full bottle of liquid morphine, mm. with 500 mil, half a bottle, some pregabalins, some diazes. I couldn't do it, wouldn't make him. Gets on the phone to the analyst and said, look, I'll be in time for, feel like it, it's probably three or four minutes, two minutes. I can't wake him. But you put the phone to him. You can't talk, my He went, no, well, you just, I wanted his breathing. So I start CPR now. Can you do CPR? I went, yeah. I said, no, he went, start it now. There he went, put that back right now. Is that right next to his lips? She went, start it now. What's your name, Sean? Sean, you need to start it. And I'm working on him, mate. I'm working on him. Emotional. And you're in that, like, fuck, you just want, I, I fucking love the kid. And I'm working on him. And you, everything else is gone, and you don't care what's going on. Get the fuck! I'm shouting to his beard and Dave, and the other jock kid, get out of the fucking ambulance! And I'm working, I'm working, I'm working on him. So Dave's lying across the bed. I'm leaving over and working on him, so I'm sweating, aren't I? I'm sweating. Oh, so it's Dave, not Billy. Pull over him. And he just goes, like, like Greg, like it's a life just drained out of him. And I'm, I'm going, no, mate, no, come on. And they're saying on the phone, Sean, you need to take a break now. I said, never mind the break, I'll do it 24 hours a fucking day. I'll be made to love him. And she went, you need to swap over. I said, no, I'm swapping over. Yeah, you so need it goes to. to this, Dave. Give me that. Don't swipe me brow. He's lying on the bed, and I've had a towel on him and a cold compress on him, trying to cool him down. And I'm going, hey, give me that. And he goes, he grabs me hand and goes, Oh, where's he going? I went, what are you fucking hand, you daft cunt? <laughs> I've got one hand that's working. I went, take back your hand, that's why me brown. He, see him going grey, he saw us, I backed him all his hands, because he was dying. And I've gone, pass your hand, give me that. He went, he's not going, is he? I went, I can't I fucking hold your hand anyway. Go wipe me brown. So I'm still working on him. <laughs> that was the funny part of it. So anyway, I'm working, the ambulance come. So they have the ambulance and that like little special car one, don't eat it. Come in, right, what's that? I said, look, he's a bare-knuckle fighter and all like that. Oh, yeah, what's he had? And I've got his beard to get all the medicines. And he goes, look, well, listen, you've done well. I said, look, that mind me. I, I want him well, mate. I want him well. So he went, right, can you all leave the room? And then one of the ambulance fella goes, oh, I know you. Because it's only one of the went, Oh, yeah, I've got this here. He no, I've seen him on the ceiling. I went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's here? When he's one of our fights. He went, oh, fuck is he then? What's he going to be like when he wakes up? I went, well, what would you be like, mate? If you woke up with four fucking fellas and women standing around you? And he went, well, uh, Sean, innit? Stay here. So his bear goes out and Dave goes out and I'm standing there. Like, me best, one of my best mates. Yeah. And they give him that, the general and all that. So he goes, mate, it was like the exodus. He's like, I'm going, I'm shouting, I'm, come on! And he went, shout him, I'm scared. They give him said, he wake up in a minute. He's woke, not woke up, he's like, come. And then just, just flatlines. Just uh, flatlines. Yeah. Right, step aside. And then he started him. So he fucking died, didn't he? Yeah. So I'm I'm like all, come on. And so anyway, they went, look, he needed the blue light and take took him to the hospital. So anyway, we're outside. They've got him in. They went, look, we, we just, we, we're working on him. We, we've got to pump him, the stomach and all what he's had. We don't know what he's had. We give all the stuff to the doctor to go into what he's had. Because you can't just give something. You've got to know what stuff he's had. Right. I went, sorry, I'm sorry. He's going to be all right. Well, look, he's lucky to be here. I went, yeah. So the ambulance fellow who said he knew me, well, knew me face, comes out and he goes, just want to shake your hand there, Sean. I said, did you enjoy it? He went, no, you just saved your mate's life. I went, fuck off. He went, you have. He said, eh. I went, fuck off, save me mate's life. He went, <clears throat> you have. He said, only for you, he wouldn't be here. And you know what's something it's here. Emotional, man. Get it. Why does it get you so emotional, mate? It's his best mate. I've been there. Yeah. Oh, I can't show up. I've been there. That could have been me on the bed. 
Could it be me when I tried to shoot myself? Could it be me when I slipped my wrist? I it hit you. And I thought, that's what my beard would be like. Well, I've, that's what I would have been like. Do you get me, James? The realisation? Yeah. It hit me then when it... And then all that just brought everything back. You know, yeah, I'd, I'd saved his life. You've done well, I went, look, he's done well, he's here. I'm, I'm not asked. People go, oh, Sean, you've done great, you've done great. I went, yeah, well, you do me. That man must people do it every fucking, every week. They're the heroes. I'm not. They're the heroes, mate. They keep us going. They fucking train us to do it. So anyone out there, go and learn fucking first aid, because you never know when you need it. I never thought I'd need it to do that on my best mate, who's fit as fuck, who can fight like fire, put him against anyone the best in the country, man. Look, he is one of the best. And I was like, no, this sinks in. You have a, oh, you understand? He's going, he's going to be all right. He was in for intensive care for two or three days. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, it brought everything back to me. Like, yeah, he was on the men, but it, it, James, it just fucking knocked me back. And I thought, wow, what the fuck happened there yesterday? Poor Dave was like, oh, I can't get over it. I, 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 I was going, shut up, he ain't oh, you know. And what's like little things Dave would oh, get. Oh, Dave was the other buddy that was with you, okay. A little bit choked. And it was about four days, because we had to cancel the show, and we was all busy then. We canceled the show, we got another date. And then I'm just sitting in my room one night, and I just, I just fucking broke down, mate. And I went, what's, what's fucking happened? Not because I'd, I'd saved me mate, and then I didn't want him in Warrington, so I rang with Johnny from Dundee, Dundee. Uh, I said, Johnny, you have to come and get him. Johnny took him, Johnny took him up to Dundee and looked after him. He's a fucking big fit for that. He, he, he'd done brilliant. Jay Paul was running down, Jay was helping him. Everyone got round. And so everyone's running around, they're all fixing them. I'm sitting in my little room, because I'm always damn. We go home and I go in my room at eight o'clock or whatever. And I'm sitting there and everything just fucking hit me. And I thought, that could have been me. So so the way I felt, a bit. Mm, you had an epiphany. Upset and a, a, a bit, no, alone on my own. I thought, how would my bed would have felt all them years ago if I would have done that? How would my kids feel going to school? Oh, your dad killed himself for you. People don't see that, do they? Yeah, it's a f sad thing, is with the mindset, it's hard to say, but the bottom line is when you take your own life, it doesn't take away your pain, it passes it on. Yeah. Exactly, mate. Facts. Exactly. Your pain's gone because it's gone to all your fucking family. Facts. And the, and, the, and, the, and the real thing is, like, you couldn't handle it, so you just gave it to somebody else to handle. That ain't it. That ain't how it's solved. That ain't, no problem has been solved. It's just you took the way out that simplified it for you. Family. Your kids have got to grow up with that. Your bird, look, your bird can move on, mate. Whether your bird will grieve for five years, ten years, your bird will meet a loved one will meet someone, because... Human nature. We're human. We're not fucking robots. You'll meet someone in five, ten years, whatever, and you might get that bit of love. Your fucking kids won't, mate. Yeah. What happened to the kid who was stabbing himself in the Vice documentary? Doing all right. He's doing, yeah, he's doing, doing good. good. He got a bit of jail. He said that already, though, right? Cuts only off an edit, like. Uh, Nat, doing good, brilliant boxer, and I said it on, on Max. I've still got his belt in my office, actually. And he's working back with his brother. Uh, he's off to drugs, he's training. I know he's doing all good right. Good on him. What's the biggest debt you've ever collected? The big... Uh, the one I got my villa out of in Portugal. Look, I have my house, I have a little caravan, and I have a villa in Portugal for few years. Um, okay. That was for, for... Four... Two, five, I think it was. Four and twenty-five. And I got... It was four and twenty-five. I got... I think I got once... I got one... I got one eighty. I got just under two hundred grand back. And... I never took the, the money off the guy. I took 10 grand off of my front and he was getting on a bit. Uh, and he went, Sean, I can't. They owed me like 60 odd grand plus me 10 grand off front. 
and the global lovely villa, which way up in the mountains in Portugal. <coughs> People know. You said he couldn't take the 180. Hey, listen. Thank you. It's been good working with you. I accept all forms of payment. <laughs> what do you mean you couldn't take it? That's that big heart. Yeah. Hey, my heart big, but it ain't my, my wallet is bigger. He said, Sean, I, I, I need this money. There's only him in his bed. The fucking dead mice. I went, well, what are you going to do with the villa? Oh, he couldn't pay you. So he, he took the villa. Well, okay. I'll give you my half. What's it worth? I went, go on. He said, but I snuff it, the villa's yours. If he, if he snuffs it, I have his here. If she snuffs it, mm -hmm. I buy his here. Seeing the Vice documentary and that, what was the, the story? Did you get petrol and that put over you? Or kidnapped and... Yes. What was yes. that story, Sean? Um, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. So, we had a load of trouble and I've gone and cough for some kids and done them. Uh, just to give my leg. I haven't done him. I've done his brother. So the, the kid being shot in the leg and it's not the right kid, it's the brother. You're getting it, you. You're getting it, you. So I'm working out of time. I've gone to check on the door. Comes out. But all men, if you see a damn in distress or a bear crying, any decent man would go, you know, I kill. What's up? You know, I. So I never used to park my dad by my door by any venues where I went. Never always had them up the streets or a dab of van or. I hear you. That sounds good. But from experience, I don't do that. I got jumped like that. But I, that's the thing, though. I didn't even ask her if she was okay because I knew what was going on, you know. And, the, you know, some people got that sixth cent. She's crying. She looked at me, and I looked away. <laughs> yeah. Still got into a fight. Anyway, I'm in the... I had a red Ford Sammy van then. Um, Could I just move one of my houses? So where I parked here, these people that must have been watching me, and see me, it's a fucking amazing, it's a red sunny van. There's not fucking many. Right. <laughs> two or three in the morning, it's even around town. Anyway, I parked it down this, this street. And in this street, there's a doorway that goes in a couple of feet. So I've got to walk past down there, this big crying. No, no, I'm all right. I'm, you all right, girl? And that was open. Her makeup was just, I don't know, just look. She looks like she's been crying. When, when she got a figure, I don't fucking know. She looks a mess and went, girl, what, what's over here? No, he's coming, he's coming. I went, no one's coming. Went, what's over here? You're all right? Yeah. I just started to turn, turned. I woke up in the container, just a steel container. And it's weird, because when the one I told this story years ago, I'm hearing little stories now before little people say, oh, we got thrown in the container. No, you fucking didn't. I was probably the first one to say it now. I've heard those little stories, people saying they get put in containers. No, you probably didn't, mate. This is a true story, and that's on me fucking nan's cross. Anyway, um, makes up in this container. Being this over the edge, I've had a bit of gas put on me, not like gas, and I could just hear, uh, and the ram in this container. And it was a Volvo Square 240 on a, a white red. I think it was a white red. It was a Volvo, and, and <sighs> sad. I can hear it, it makes him say, to her, what the fuck is going on here? You fucking dead. <laughs> and the shooting at the container must have been a shotty, because they weren't really coming through. Man, they weren't really trying to kill you. They weren't really trying to out take you out, because they would have just did it. Why are they going to do all that extra stuff? Just seeing little holes. So, whoa, what the fuck? So one container door, the container door opens out. One stays in, one opens out. So it's only your fuck. Containers, no lights in the fucking tent, mate. It's pitch black. It's fucking now three o'clock or quarter till in the morning. Your fucking tent, you comes. But they weren't shooting me. They could have shot me anyway. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nope. Want to go out, so want to ricochet. I don't know whether they went out with ricochet. I'm just hearing the noise. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? You're fucking dead, you prick. You're fucking dead. The next minute, they've opened it. Pop. I'm going, lads, come on. What the, what the, who is it? What do you know who it is? You, you twat. We told, we told you we'd have you. Paul Petter and Lizzie. 
Well, in a container, if anyone knows, eh, a container goes on fire. It fucking does it, mate, the lion. It's that solid fucking whatever wood's like. No, some wood you can put on it and it'll just burn it easy. It was sort of like oak or whatever the floor. People who make containers are known, not lying. It's that way that'll just like simmer a bit and go black. But it's fucking full of smoke. So they've lit this bit of a fire, a bit of petrol. Man, you squat. So I'm, I'm coughing, I'm like, oh. So just get on the floor. I'm running in that corner. As soon as he hit the door going, I'm running in that corner, just shooting back and just there. And what's your old? You're just a nick and saying there's nothing in it. I'm like, if that's the corner, it's getting wrecked. Do we get fucking dead? They fired. I think they fired in it twice. It might have been once and I've heard two shots. I don't know. I couldn't give all the exact details. And I thought, I'm going to fucking die here. You're dead, lad. You're going. You're going. You are gone. You, you. The fuck you think you are in that town? Blah, blah, blah. This, that, that. Dude is clearly the main character. He was the main character when I saw him on Vice. He's still the main character. He's been the main character since he was 14. Jeez. So we put the pets in the bed too, and it's like similar. And they don't even want to try and pull it out because they don't want to go near the door. So I thought, fuck this. So I lay on the floor, and there's a fucking big rank up and a big shot gone off. And I shit myself. I never shit myself. I pissed myself. Oh. I, I literally pissed myself on the floor. I thought, fuck, oh, this is it. I'm going. I'm going. I can't get out that door. They're going to open that and go, you know, with, with fucked your head up a bit. Poof, you're gone now. I thought, I'm going. I'm going. I thought, oh, no. I'm a pissed. That's, a, that's acceptable. <laughs> you thought it was over with. Ain't nothing else to do but your whole body relax or you get, you get, you're scared too. And then I thought, you know when you get, what's, what's he say when you have a revelation or what's that word he say? Yeah. Epiphany. And I went, I ain't fucking going like this on the floor. I'll, if I'm dying, I'm going to fucking die screaming. So I get by the container door, the one that's down, the one that'll open and I can pop round it. So it, it felt like ages, James. It felt, I, I don't know. It went dead quiet, and I mean quiet, mate. Quiet, quiet. Couldn't hear nothing, didn't hear no cars pulling off. Fuck all, didn't it? No one going, we'll be back. So I'm standing there, pissed, black. I can hear the door. Taz here at the door. Hey, what's going on here? Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Fellas field. Nothing to do with it. Here's an owl. I think it was a wide wedge Volvo and a Sab. There was two cars. Wait, 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 wait. Phone, phone, phone. I've got my phone. I've got my keys. My fucking lip is out here. My nose out here. My heart. I've had a kick and be bought. I've had a kick and uh, my shots yeah. gone in. I'm fucking full of piss. Phone, phone, phone. But I only know my office number. Because I, I don't know my bird's number. You probably don't. Everyone just goes, Mobile, we are robots. Mobile. Yeah, I don't know no nobody. I don't know nobody number. I don't even know my own cell phone number. <laughs> Crazy. You see your bit of name, you ring it. You don't remember the number, do you? But ain't fucking jail, you do, don't you? Yeah. When they give you all the numbers in jail, <laughs> and you know, if you haven't got a mobile, you can go on that jail phone and you remember every fucker's number you want to speak to. But I only ever rang me bears. I only ever rang Amanda. I, anyway. I'm admitting this fella, whoa, hey, pal, what's going on here? I went, what you, what you, whoa, I'll ring police. I went, don't fucking ring the police, give me your phone, give me your phone. He gave me his phone, rang the office. The office is diverted to me, mate. I've rang me, mate, at the time. Well, I, I, what's up? I went, where are you, where are you? He went, well, calm down, mate, fucking hell. Where are you? You should be well home, mate. Where, where am I? And he's going, no, I went, mate, where the fuck am I? Postcode, where am I? And it's not really, but I went, just tell me where I am. He said, like, come and get me now. He goes, what are you doing there, mate? You got a bed or something? I'm like, come fucking get me now. Right. And he's turned up and seen me. And after I'd done this kid, the brother said to me, I'll get you. I said, lad, lad, look, listen. It's me and you. You was cotton for me. I was cotton for you. Your brother's ended up cotton for you in the leg. I said, look, Dang. it is what I did, mate. I said, look, I can't say I'm sorry, it happens. 
Fuck yeah, it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you all right. Hey, all right. no apologies. No apologies. Got you run, pent up in a container, man. That's tough. Brody was not playing about his brother. Keep on like that. See you soon. Get back come with time, he said. He spent the block slowly. So six, seven months ago, I think. Oh, I fucking forgot what was asking. Well, I know. Get back got no expiration date. Kind of whatever. Fucking never, mate. Come and cough for me. So he gave me six months. I gave him near two years, and I went and cough for him. I did. He was having trouble with someone. That. So I went and cough for him. So what about Sierra? Sorry, excuse me. Have you ever, have you ever been, have you ever collected debt for any celebrities, or has any celebrities ever got you to collect debts? How does it work? I'll tell you that one, Rick James. Celebrities. Let me tell you about celebrities. Two. One I can't name for legal reasons, but it will all be out soon. No, well I can't name. One's a male, one's a female. The male is being an amateur celebrity. Get me out of here. Very well known, really well known. I have to mount with a big problem back in 2016, 2016. So he was, his son was getting terrorized. Yep. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know this guy. A friend of mine in Manchester knows him. Sean, can you help him out? What is it? You have a problem with this firm. I know the firm. So we rang them up, not giving it to big bollocks. I went, lads, fucking hell, use on him. Yeah, the son owes his money. The son is a fucking raven, cokehead. Ah. The other son is famous. One's famous for doing something. One's famous for snorting fucking cocaine. Anyway, I think it's this guy. What is it? He went, he asked for me, this guy asked for me. Can you saw this? Well, I know them. What's going on? Oh, my son's gone into a bit of bad. He's bodied a bit of money. Send us the paperwork over, let me have a look. No, I went, send me the paperwork. This firm had been down to his house, down to his house, and flying his wife. He were not asked over the police. That's why he's having me. So we sit down with these lads, I knew them, and we'd fell out years ago, but now we talk. And I said, oh, Sean. I said, come on, mate, have a deal. So they, they wanted 85 grand off him. Damn. So I got it down to 35. And my deal was, I said to this guy, whatever I save you, you pay me half. Sean, that's great, that's got to go. This is all happening two days before Boxing Day. So I met them on Boxing Day, between the Boxing Day and New Year's Eve, I'm meeting them and having deals. That sounds fair. Whatever I save you, you pay me half. I'm good enough. He went, fuck it, we'll have the deal. They'd already had the underground back. This was compound incest. So... They have a deal. This guy pays them the 35 grand. And the lad said to me, Sean, do you want five quid? And I went, no, 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 he's paying me. Don't worry about it, he's paying me. Did a fuck, mate. That was 2016. He still ain't so paying So it goes to him. Everyone knows him. The fucking nation. The nation love him, mate. So it goes and goes, come on, mate. It's been two or three months now. I want you to go to Dubai. I want you to go to France. I went, look, I, I know that. That's all well and good, but what about this money? Well, my son's going to pay you that. I went, whoa, hang on, come on. He went, no, my son will pay you. So he said, my son's had off me four million pounds in the last three years on investments. I'm pissed it up and coked up. But he's doing all right now, so he'll pay you. I think it's the son. What does he give me? 1,700 fucking quid, mate. I mean, are you taking a piss? So I drove, drove down to where he lives in this beautiful sunny place, meets the son, you know his money? Yeah, I know. I haven't got it. You're earning money off that. That buy you've got there. Look, look, I need my money. It's been three months now. Right. Your fucking poor man was terrified. He was on the phone to me. Your dad's a fucking big celebrity. Come on, what the fuck's going on, mate? He gave me another two grand, so he has 3,700 quid out of 25. We're That's now nothing. up to 224, and the bill is 38,000 something. And I knew I was coming on here today, James, because of last week. I sent him an email saying, um, I'm going on a podcast. People want to know who it is. I'd rather not give your name in. I'd love to give your name on this podcast and say, he is a great fella and his son had problems and he paid me what was owed. But I can't even say that in the email. I just put, 
I was, I'm getting pressed. I'm, I've got a new book coming out. Mm. I've got my show on the 24th this month. When's that new... coming out? Can you show me the emails as well? Can you show me that I, stuff? I've got the emails here. Okay. I'll show you the payment. Now, you if people will ask me, and I'll just say it's 100%. I will show you all yeah. the emails. Okay. You, you will see the emails and the last letter they sent them saying, Mr. Blah Blah and your son. Not receipt, Sean. You want... Hey, hey, James said, can I see the receipt just to clear it, just to make sure? Just to um, solidify that this is 100% real? i done you a service in 216. You agreed to pay me X amount of money. You want to give me that? You've already put a cease and desist, desist and desist on me to oh sue me. But now I've had enough, mate. You're a multi fucking millionaire, and 38 grand to you is nothing. He probably goes out on a Sunday dinner, takes all his family out, and if you stay up in the night, that'll probably cost him 15 grand. He owes me 38, and he's got it. And they basically fuck off you on our job. If, like, I'm just a little nobody, if I'm a little scally from Liverpool, well, I'm not a fucking a little dibby scally. I want me fucking money. And I've always been since 216, but I want me money. Are you going to expose him in your book? Yes. Does he know this? He does now. Yes. What I turned around and said is, I couldn't say I will expose you, because that's blackmail. So all the pun so how, do you, how do you go about that, Sean, without crossing the line of you getting Without crossing the line, here's how you do it. So I've... I basically said to him, this Monday gone, it's now Saturday. Saturday. So Monday gone, sent an email from the office. I have a slitter working for me saying, hi, Mr. Blah Blah. Uh, our client, Sean Smith, is on a podcast on Saturday, the whatever it is, and he's also got a new boot coming up next year. He get him pressed off his agent to name you and your son. Uh, Sean doesn't want to name anyone. You know you'd had a bill outstanding up to this date of £30,000. Sean would like to go on this podcast and mention you and your son in a good way and say, you've had fellows and you've Hey, name you, him. You've done name him now. You've your words and your pays and you've had good stand-up people. That's not actually for the money. I said how much he owed me. I said I'd like to come on and mention them. So I thought I'd get an email before today, he never. So now fuck them. So the reason why I'm doing this, this will get out. I hope you can hear this bit. Let one of the papers come to me. I'll show you the emails when you go so you can mm. say it is true. Let one of the dealers come to me and buy it off me. I'll get money that way. Fuck them. And if you want to sue me, sue me. What's the worst thing about being a debt collector? Getting laid with a bully. Look, everyone has this thing that, oh, you're the debt collector going around people's houses. I don't take your car, mate. I don't take your couch and your fridge and... I don't, I, I'm doing it's not like can't pay take it away he's like genuine debts I'm trying to I will take nothing if it's weird to weird I've got to have a paper trail who was the guy in the documentary there's something no money but he gets fucking ass ripped right out of him and there was photos of him just to say look if you don't pay we're giving you yes. these photos what was that a fella gets thrown over a table he gets right do you take photos of ah, I remember that this guy could have a go this guy could have a fight this guy would do that to you if he was old money these guys have gone on a debt. I've been in the area. He hasn't paid. They've done him in. They've thrown him over the table. They've took flour his... or butter, put it on him, put it on his own fingers, done him, took pictures. You got the money three days later. But it's the old Polaroids that you take. Six months after, though, the poor comes on himself. So, yeah, they got the money. And, yeah... People laughed about it after, yeah, he paid, he paid. But years ago, it was a Polaroid. I know you can have a film and hide it. They give him one and said they had another one. And he paid, he was supposed to give that pity back. And he never. So, the sad thing about it. Yeah. Yeah. They do that in the Fun music industry. Showing, look, you've lived a mad fucking life. But you're looking better. You're actually looking better than you were in the documentary yeah, in about good, seven, good. eight years ago, whenever good. it was. Like, you're looking good. Is that because I'm paying for your fucking dinner? After? Possibly, mate. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> but what's the plans for the future? Yeah. Where do you I'm go? I'm on. One more. Okay. Celeb. Celeb. You gotta get this People off. The girl. The girl. A wolf in sheep's clothes. And... <laughs> this one, who's a beard, she is a... I can't. The Wicked Witch of the West 
uh, Dracula's eldest daughter. I don't know her bit in sheep's clothing. This fucking woman is very well known celeb. I want I want to go say where from because everyone will know where. She's on this. She's on TV. And you know what? Yes, she's a bit of a <laughs> gotta be taken care of. Like, yes, <laughs> yes, because I'm gonna fuck this cunt up as well. Because here, fella, come to see me. This is how people see this girl as being dead nice. Here, fella, come to see me. He just had a baby to her, and she had kids with another fella, and she didn't want the ex-husband coming round and taking the kids away from the new baby. She just didn't like. So she offered me 10 grand to break his legs. So, hey, fellas, meet me. And I went, no, mate, come on, for fuck's sake. She's a fucking celeb, she's famous, everyone knows him. I know, yeah, but he's coming around, picking the kids up, and he's kicking off, and it's upsetting the kids, and we've got this new baby on the old big I went, hang on, do you want to do it, or does she want to do it? She wants to do it, and I went, well, I need to hear it off here. Yeah, but she's not coming to speak to you. She can't, you know, she's, Celeb and all that went, well, I'm not fucking doing it. I said, because, I said, okay. What if I do the job and get him done in, break his legs, and give him a bit of an eye? I'll get that done all day. No, I want you to do it. I know you'll do it right. I went, mate, 10 grand's not enough for me. I wouldn't do no one for 10 grand. Them days are gone. I'm 50, well, this is, I'm 57 now, so this was, I don't know, 50, 50, 53 or something, 54, 54. I went, 10 grand, five grand up front, Five grand minutes on. I've got the kids, I'm ready to go. But I need to hear it off here. Because what? If he gets done in, then you and her are pissed up. You tell her you got it done. She gets you nicked and gets me nicked. So I need to hear it off here. But she right. won't speak. I went, my ringer on your phone. So I went and met in a well known place in where I live. I said, there's your phones. Put our phones over there. I knew the manager in his place. I said, make sure I'm on a video. And I kept a little phone on me here. Because what if they set me up? This girl's quite fucking famous. Well, she is famous, isn't she? She's famous. I thought, you fucking bitch. I thought, it's the job. Uh, and these kids will do it. So I would get it. Get on the phone. He went, I'll get it on this one. I bought a beer I went, whatever you call it, mate, fucking ring So he's ringing, I'm going, Hi, girl, how are you? Hi, yeah, you're all right? I went, yeah. Do you want this job doing? She went, yeah, he's coming Wednesday. I said, OK. So Monday morning, he gave me five grand. Wednesday, the girl is kicking. Give it a couple of weeks after that, and you give me the other five, I'll pay the kids for the job. Yeah, she went, oh, that's great. I went, but who am I speaking to? She said, it's me, he went, well, who's me? I said, look, girl, I'm not being funny. Your fella's sitting next to me. You could be the fucking girl I've just seen going in the toilets over there. You could be anyone. I would. She went, Oh, Sean, you know it's me. I went, Yeah, but how do I know it's you? She went, You know it's me because I was in. I went, Yeah, all right. All right, girl. All right. She went, No, honest, it's me. Got her. <laughs> hey, they be paying me. I don't know. That's tough. Now, you know what? Let me not say that because, man, them celebrities are going through, they're doing anything. She said, anyone. All right, girl. All right, all right. Now, I'm not speaking on it. We're speaking on speaker. Could he put him with the tubers and over the, the chair like that? And I've got my, my little phone here. And I recorded it. He died. Good thing you got her to say it then. And I see that twat on telly near every other day, mate, playing the victim. And it fucking grigs me, mate. It proper grigs me. I think, you know what? People don't know you. You're crying, it fucking boils me blood. You're crying, you're this, you're that. You fell died a couple of years ago. You've moved on, you got more. You fucking horrible. You wanted your mm. next fella doing breaking his legs. And look here, playing the victim. I hate phony people, mate. I just hate it. So I thought, you know what? Fuck you. I want people to know the truth about you. It's not grassing. You're a fucking phony. And people look up to her. Kids look up to her. I, my daughter knows who this girl is, and I've gone, no, baby, she don't got it, she don't got it. I don't want other kids thinking, oh, we see this. I want them to see the real fucking side. Whether that's a woman's 
the woman's gone. I've heard of a woman's gone. You better kicking off you and all that But that's that's getting you fucking done it, mate. So we can't see his kids. I said, well, what if it doesn't work? She said, well, just do it again. So people used to pay you as well to weigh people in. It wasn't just a case of collecting debts. Mate, listen, listen. What's the worst thing anybody's ever says? People to do. I try to get you to. People will say, he, load. he can't answer that. So people pay people to give someone a smack or someone a crack. I had a business fellow come in my office one day, mate. Gospel truth. He had a big fucking IT company. <sighs> me and the half fellas that works for me sitting in the office. My office is Mandel, I'll tell you this. I'm sitting in my office. This fellow is high. It's pretty sure. They're nice. They're nice. About 54. There's a funny side of this. About 54. Yeah, and he's come and see him. having a couple of problems. Money. It's all documented. Yeah, everything's documented. So he comes in with a suit, little big case. IT fella, loaded. Uh, Sean, what is this? He said, here, uh, the wife. I said, OK, you went here. I got a load of carpet fitted in my house. I said, what's your company? I said, you know the story. What's your company called? So I went, look, I don't know the fuck you are, mate. So while I'm speaking to you, him over there is going to check on you, out of your house. So my mate in the office is checking out. He went, yeah, it's him. Yeah, it's the, yeah. where do you live? Is your house? Check the house. His house is like 680 grand. He's got that. I said, OK, what is it? Well, what happens, Sean? He said, hey, I'm having a refurb on the house. And we're having carpets all upstairs. All stairs land, but all the rooms. By the wet room. Fuck where he lives is nice. He said, in hey, my wife started up and the carpet fell back in there every other week, saying there's something up with the carpet. Needs fixed. I went, what do you mean? I said, come on, mate, when your car is fitted, it's fitted. You might, it can't be short. She wanted to call him over, get paid, and get some. Cause he went, she just said there was all the problems. I found out, Sean, she's having sexual intercourse with this guy. Yeah. And I went, you're not being your beard. He went, well, you fucking shafted it, Sean. Shafted it. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, so. Shafting is crazy. <laughs> who's the guy? He said, well, I don't know. But I've got his van, and it's, it's only got his number on it. Do you know where he lives? No. He said, look, I, I, I'm really trying to save me marriage. She'll want me gone. I don't want to go. Our kids, is, I've only just gone to uni, and I don't want it to be... That's how it always is, ain't it? Kids, you know, mum and dad splitting up and all that. I don't care what it costs at the angle, mate. It's not about money. It, it, I need to know where you want to go with this. It, it, look, if you want to get... If you want to get him warmed off, then you can get him. Get him warmed off, not a problem. I can send a message. No, I want him thumping. So he's just a normal guy. You're not like I want to set. I went, so you just, you want him thumping. I went, give me the number, give me the guy's name. Leave a grand, send me a grand over. Let me do my little investigations and I'll get back to you. You want me to hand with you? I said, no. I said, Come and see me in a week. So say you come on a Tuesday, James. You come on the following Tuesday. I find out this fella is. I've gone up and seen his business. Bumph. He's a screw. Ah! Oh. They're shagging his wife. From Risley. Damn! I only know his face. I don't know his name at all. That's fucking Mr. Blah Blah, huh? Fucking hell it is. And he's shagging this fella's wife. <laughs> so I'm like, fucking this gets. So anyway, he comes back and he's like, He's just changed. His demeanour. Right, John, I've had enough. And uh, I beat it. I said, look, just... No, I went, just, look. Just, let me tell you what I know. The fellow who's banging... Sean, I, I don't... The fellow... You said the fellow that's... Back, you go, that's how you described it to that man that's going through that pain like that? He's meeting your bed. Do you never go out? It's always in the house and he's always fixing the carpet. He was there, Sean. You know, uh, through the week. Now, three hours! I said, well, just think what he's been doing to your bed, mate. He went, well, that's, that's it. He, he went, want it gone? I said, look, I don't know, but I know who he is. He's a screw. He, what, he, Why he are you just letting him do now. it? I think just a strong word and just give him a little strangle so he goes purple and the face is up. And that'll do him. I'll fuck him off. No, she loves him. She told me she loves him. And we're getting divorced. And she wants half the house and half of me business. I want it gone. I said, mate, I'm not throwing your bed out of the house. That I, you, he went, no, I want a gun, Sean. So oh. I went, hang on, mate, hang on, hang on. I know I've done it before, stand up. 
what's your I went fucking stand up have you got a fucking record and I'd say to me I went mate where are you getting this go gone from he went you can do it I want to throw her she's like <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do it, no one can, Sean. <laughs> ah, that's I want crazy. I want to in the back of a boot. I don't care what you do to her. If you want to, if you want to do whatever you want to her, Sean, what he's been to, and bury the bastard. I said, listen, mate. If you've been watching fucking Casino or the gangs doing with the bury, what's that one with the bury in the end? Casino. Casino. I said, mate, you're reading too many books. I'm watching right. too, too much too many. He went, Good. I want it gone. And he's banging on me table. I don't care. I'm I'm not asked over the house to buy a house. Oh, it's wigging in there. I've kids going to fuck me kids. I'm not asked about me money for me business. Well, I am, but I've, I've still got a couple of million. She'll fuck me kids' heads up. I said, Jordan, you can do it. I went, no, I can't do it, mate. I won't do it. What do you know anyone who'll take the job on? I went, no, mate. You're not going to get no one to go and get your beard. And basically, Andrew went, I want to hear fucking dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Lying face down in the dead. to went, mate, look, you need to fucking go, mate. Were you ever surprised at how far people would go, you think? Some mate. fucking frail old man just willing to mate, put out his missus. <laughs> Not really, he's it's, watching Goodfellas too much. He, he, mm -hmm. he did books, watch Goodfellas. But again. Watching way too much TV. He went in there like, oh yeah, it's Gangster. going down. If Sean can't do it, then who can? Movie, yeah, probably seen a documentary about me, come and see me. And now his wife said to him, oh, I love him, I love him. I don't want to be with you. But he did look, you know what he looked like? Bigsby off Rising Damp. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that and is. I told, do you know what, mate? I don't know what your wife looks like, but if I was a woman, I wouldn't fucking go with you. I'm saying that to myself. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. I can probably understand, you know what I mean? I've had that, I had another fella. Your wife stayed around, she got the bag, now it's time to go. Secured. But all you gotta do is divorce her. In divorce court, she ain't getting no money. She's inf that's infidelity. Just quickly, because I know we're going. I had another guy ring it up. <laughs> I know. I had a guy, uh, uh, an airline pilot, uh, Indian guy, airline pilot, being lived off, loads of money, found out where they lived. He said, John, I want you to go fuck him, the ass. Whoa, whoa. They shot, <laughs> they thought Sean was taking butt. <laughs> I said, I'll take him. Never mind. Yeah, yeah when I messed with the airport, it was a pilot, pilot. Fella, in the I've got loads of Indian friends, Muslim friends. So he, he went, you come meet me, cause he had a, he had a, uh, no, when you swap your flight, it's a, a layover. You land and you go fly somewhere else. Layover. Oh, I forget what they call it. I forget the come here, I'm thick. Uh, so he went, Sean, I've got like a two hour window coming with me. So when I met him at the airport, I'm sitting there with this airline party. He said, Sean, I want you to fuck him up the ass. I went, mate, if I can fuck him, if I can get your money, he went, no, Sean, I want you to fuck him up this taxi. I went, what? And he, he said, look, I know they're just normal people. He said, he's a party. You got 500 people you got to go and look after. I went, hang on, let, let me, let me, I, I pay, look, I pay you, fuck the money. I want to fuck right up the ass, you know, right up the taxi, because he will be banished. I will tell everyone he's been fucked up the taxi and no one will want to bother him. I went, mate. You got the wrong fella. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's... You know what, mate? You can't put a price on everything. You they just think that man is. getting doing everything. Can you get me someone? No. So what I'm thinking now, James, I've met you. Do you want his number? Fuck it, geezer. Obviously, you've met some characters and had some oh, requests over that. the years. Yeah. Where do you go forward for the future, Shawnee boy? Uh, now... Yeah, I want to be in Portugal in two years. As I said, we've got a show on the 24th, it's got the boot coming out. Yeah, I'll see what comes back of that, them two celebrities. Um, my daughter goes into high school this year. I want to get her over before she gets here to Portugal. I'll be in a villa. Yeah, we've got a little business, my friend's got a business over there, the cleaning business. Yeah, what I'm managing now, she's doing well. And I'll do a bit of security work over there, personal security. What do you think looking back in your life? Mate, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't change anything. I, I wouldn't like to change all the trouble I had because I wear my shit, mate. I wear my shit. Uh, but, man, um, I stood up for what I believed in. Uh, 
I've had loads of fights in town. I've had statements with people on the door firms and telling you, I don't think there's any doorman here that will give me a bad name. I've never been a bully. And I've, I've had I've had an incest in life, but uh, mentally can fuck your head up. Since I've come off my medication, and it took me eight, 18, six, people say, oh, you come off your meds, Ben, and you can't, mate, you can't. I, mate, I can tell you about your story, you'll be having a good time. Um, get off your medication. And it's not about hitting the gym, go for a walk, go and have a swim, buy a dog, go and speak to a friend. Clear your mind. Let it out. Look at me. I, I've never thought I'd get a, a bit choked or uh, I'd tell people it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Look at Tyson Fury shouting out the other week. Melt and help, behave yourself, grow up here. What does the tablet do? It's like that curtain there. You take the tablet, it pulls it over for a few hours, you'll have a sleep. You wake up, your problem's still there. Yeah. Be a bit more focused. How Mental. important is training and exercise for mental health? I've got to say it every day, mate. I've, I've, but look, some people can't say, go for a walk every day, go on a bike. Ride. I have got to get up every day and say, every morning, then Tuesday night, Thursday night, Saturday morning I have a class, Sunday I have off, or I'll do a class Sunday and have Saturday off. And I don't say, I've got mental, don't I? I've okay. got to say, well, otherwise you can put up with me. For anybody watching, Sean, it's in the struggle now with mental health. You've clearly spoke about it for many years now. You seem to have come through the other end of it. You are looking a fucking brilliant, by the way. But anybody that's in that struggle there now, that fucking deep struggle where they don't think there's an out, thinking about taking their own life, you've been there. What advice would you have for them? Just believe in yourself. Get off the medication. Try and get off the medication. And believe in yourself. There's always people around you. Like people say they're on their own. It's like people being suicidal. All you do is passing all that grief onto someone else. Go Max. and have a. I don't mean. I, I, I was in this aid, I'd be Samaritan's card. Go and have a good, long conversation with yourself in the mirror. Honest. It sounds stupid. Go and get a chair. It doesn't. Put a mirror there. Look at yourself. And speak to yourself and think, what, what are you doing? Do I really want to look at me? You're better. You're unshaven, you're dirty, you have a net, you haven't slept. You haven't trained, you haven't swam, you haven't walked the dog, you haven't. Play with the kids. Just be honest with yourself. Fair and if you can't, tell one of your mates. Because someone will help you. It happened to me. Yeah, you're never alone, man. If you're feeling like that, call somebody, call the hotline, get you it together, man. Fine. That were it. If I wouldn't have had their mates, I wouldn't be here. And that's the gospel truth. How important is it to have a good woman that doesn't leave your... All right. W Podcast. I feel like that's done. W Sean, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.